as you know, the H2D is out. This is a quick video just to show how we set up the exhaust system because uh, I was hoping that the internal filtration would be for all modes, but unfortunately it's mainly for your heated filament modes. So it does bypass any filtration in your normal exhaust, which is a bit of a shame, but what we've done and I'll show you is we've permanently set up the exhaust system on the back and whenever the machine's in use and when, even when it's not in use, it has a small um, pull from the exhaust that we use, uh, not from this exhaust, from an external exhaust, because there is an air gap that goes through here. So if you are printing particles and whatnot, if you are concerned about all that, which we always are, um, as you can see, the rest of the printers are set up in a similar fashion with an exhaust at the top. So that exhaust you see now connects into the back of this and out through the main exhaust bearingless fan. So I'll show you how we did this and what we used. This is the control panel. We're activating the exhaust. So when we turn this on, the inlet will automatically come up. Then the outlet, the fins will open for the exhaust fan. And inside you can see this happen as well. Uh, this is a little filter, which is obviously activated carbon, but not happy with its uh, particle filtration. And that's the automatic door that opens when you're using heated filaments, but it does automatically bypass. So these are some components we printed, which I'll put in the description uh, that someone's made on Maker World and a few that I've made myself, such as this which is just a splitter for the duct. So you have a little uh, hose attachment here and then the exhaust attachment on the back and a little gasket. That's that poop chute I was talking about, the air gap um, that always releases air and allows it in. So to help with that, I'm going to take off two of these uh, blades for the exhaust um, outlet, which are pretty easy. Just make sure you put the right bit out first and the left will come out after as such. Nice and easy. You can always put them back to change mine later. Right, these are the screws I use, I just had them in my box and they seem to work, so I'll put that in the description. So you want to go ahead and you want to put all four screws of the exhaust on the back of your pipe. And this one you just put it on the inside and then through the hole in the top, uh, which is the handy design a guy on Make World made, you can just screw it up. So just do it enough that it takes up the tension um, and it's nice and stable. I wouldn't overdo it. And as you can see, when the exhaust turns on, the fins don't foul the uh, little cowling there. So attach your hose up, which you've uh, duct tape onto your printed hose adapter. And then this just shows that even with that external exhaust fan on and the HD exhaust fan off, it still produces enough negative pressure uh, to keep all those particles going through that exhaust system. And that's the, how we've connected it to our existing exhaust. I was wondering if when it's on 100% if it's going to push back any air into the other compartments. It's not a problem at all, especially when we've got a high volume exhaust fan. So that's how we hooked our HD up to the exhaust system. Obvious cons are it's not going to be as controlled internally for sensitive materials, so be aware of that. Uh, but we prefer to have that safety of everything that's getting produced in this machine is getting vented out with the rest of them through our exhaust system. So if that's what you prefer and your priorities as well, I would recommend doing it. Otherwise, like, subscribe if you want to. Thanks guys for watching, hope it helps.